This hometown parade is good old fashioned fun. The event was created to showcase all that makes Folsom a special place to live and visit. And this community celebration is back and taking to the streets once again this weekend. Parade chairperson Carolyn Soriano is here now to fill us in on this family fun event, rich in history and bursting with charm. Carolyn, it sounds like quite the event. It is. It's actually really special. We're so excited to be back here in 2021 hosting the parade after last year. It's really special. Yeah, so tell us more about the Folsom Hometown Parade. What's it all about? What are we going to see? Sure, we have 60 entries, so we're completely full with entries. We've actually had to set aside a few for next year, put them on the wait list. We have all kinds of fun events. We have Old West groups that come out, various bands. You can see the picture there with the great bands that come out. Lots of kids groups, local organizations, local charity groups, the Rotary, the Lions Club garden club. We also get an opportunity to celebrate some of our local dignities with the city of Folsom. We have our city council who comes out and we have some amazing classic cars that are certainly not to be missed, um, which will host all of our dignitaries and just a lot of fun, a lot of bands, dancing, music, celebration, really just get into the spirit of summer, spirit of 4th of July season, which is just upon us yeah. um, and yeah. come together once again. So we were looking at these photos. Those are obviously from years past. So when did this parade Correct. get started? And then it's taking place this weekend? Correct. So it's this Saturday, June 26th at 930 here in Historic Folsom on Sutter Street. This is our third annual parade. We started in 2019 and or, I'm sorry, 2018 and 2019 had to, of course, postpone last year's due to COVID and bringing it back this year in 2021. And I think it's going to be the biggest year we've had. Well, I'm sure that a lot of people, especially people that are proud to be in Folsom, will want to check it out. But who can attend? And is there a cost to be part of it or to even just watch? Oh, that's a great question. It's absolutely free. It's a free family event. Anybody can come down. The parade runs the length of Sutter Street, which is three full blocks. So there's plenty of room for everyone to space out and separate if they're more comfortable with social distancing. But there's plenty of room for, for everyone to come on down. Um, they can ride the light rail for free if they go to our website and download our postcard for a QR code. They can come into the district for free on light rail. We have some other public parking facilities facilities around, but we hope everyone comes. We'd like to see people from local cities. And you, you talked about how you, you've had um, the maximum amount of entries that you could accept for this year, but how has it changed yeah. from the original parade to where it's at now? I mean, who are these people that are taking part in the parade? I know you mentioned some of the floats, but, but give us a little more detail about that. Sure, sure. Um, well, I would say our first two years were very successful. So with this third year now, um, we have uh, bigger and better floats, I guess would be how I would say that it has changed. We have a gentleman who has a Willy Wonka float that he has been building for well over a year, which will be spectacular. It's going to have a chocolate waterfall. Um, it's going to be amazing. So I think the way that it has changed is the entries have kind of stepped up their game, so to speak. We have um, another really fun one is one of our local merchants is doing off to Neverland and they're doing a Peter Pan float where there'll be a boat and a float and it's going to be just adorable. Um, we have our fabulous 1920s flappers and they'll be all dressed in costume, which is wonderful. We have our mutton busters from the rodeo. They come on out and, and do their thing. Our uh, painted ladies horse horses, they're the grand marshals for the rodeo this year. They'll be in the parade this year. And if you haven't seen the painted ladies on their horses, they're amazing. They decorate their horses. The horses are decked out from head to toe. They're in beautiful costumes. And it's just a really fun thing to see. So I guess the way I would say it's changed is it's grown in popularity. People are out doing themselves year over year to make their entries stand out even more. Yeah, and I think I saw a picture of John McGinnis in there. Is he involved in the parade? He did. He is. He is. In 2019, he was one of our guest MCs. That's one thing that we do try to do. We try to bring in some local talent. So we're really grateful to have him as our guest MC on our Gaslight Balcony, which is the direct middle of the parade. We also added MCs on our 600 block and our 800 block. So no matter where you sit on the parade route, you will hear an MC announcing each of our entries, which is a little bit special. So you don't have to worry about being in one congested spot on the parade. 
Mary. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the other thing I forgot to mention was, um, in addition to the parade, we have added the way it's grown is before the parade, we have a pancake breakfast hosted by the Eagles Lodge before the parade. So that starts at 7.30. Mm -hmm. So people can come in even earlier. And then after the parade, we have over 10 bands playing throughout the day up and down Center Street to keep people entertained and kind of make it more of a block party feel from start to finish. Oh, yeah. So lots of fun, like totally a fun filled day. What is it about a parade, Carolyn, that everyone loves? I think it's just community coming out and getting to, you know, be with the kids and the family and people of all ages. It's just really fun. It celebrates what makes Folsom special. It celebrates what anybody feels about their hometown. It inspires and invokes that sense of community. Well, I can feel your excitement. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be a great event. And if you want more information on this family fun event, you can go to historicfolsom.org.